I recommend you go see this with a bunch of people because you'll all probably notice different things that you'll have fun discussing afterwards. You can invite me. I might come. I'm the best there is at what I do. Prove it. How'd you do that? You think I'm gonna tell you? No way. Well, if he won't tell me, Michael Caine will. Hello, I'm Michael Caine, and I'm gonna tell you how he did the trick. He used a double. He didn't use a double. I'm telling you, you want to do that trick, you use a double. This is a solid movie in which you never really know who to root for. Uh, both Wolverine and Batman are neither good nor evil, and there's moments where you're going, yeah, Batman and yeah, Wolverine. And it's clear that both of them are having a lot of fun in their roles. Batman and Wolverine get to show some interesting range, and I think you'll enjoy watching them. We also have, along with Batman and Wolverine, Alfred the Butler, who is dependable in all of his movie roles, and Scarlett Johansson, who I'm sure will play a superhero sometime in the near future. You'll enjoy them too in this film by director Christopher Nolan, which is very well set up and very well played out in terms of all the twists and turns that the plot takes. There's never a moment where you're going, at, looking at the screen going, what? Well, that doesn't make sense. Which you might have done in Christopher Nolan's last very cool outing, Batman Begins, and most definitely in his overrated Memento film. I recommend you go see this with a bunch of people because you'll all probably notice different things that you'll have fun discussing afterwards. You can invite me, I might come. I'm the best there is at what I do. Prove it. <laughs>